Okay, boys and girls, we're going to read the story Singing Down the Rain by Joe Colley, illustrated by Juan Gilcrest. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to read the story. My, but it was hot that afternoon when we got to Mr. Williams' store. Brianna went under the oak, oak with Sharon and Tyrone and the other children. She set herself down on the ground. That was baked there as a pie crust. Her mama got a chair on the porch with all the grown folks and fanned herself with her hat. I never did like the likes of all my born days, she sighed. We've got to get some rain soon or the corn will surely die. Mr. Rick Williams rocked back and forth. Sweet wonder, he groaned. Rivers no more than mud. Air so thick, you can cut it up to breathe it. Talking don't do a thing to make it better, snapped Miss Old Bridges. Talking makes me feel better, said Mr. Williams sharply. You give me a two-day rain, and I gladly shut my mouth. Brianna glanced at them. The hot spell had gone on so long that good and kind neighbors was getting really sketchy with each other. Even polite conversation was drying up. She lay back and looked through the brown leaves at a blue jay that huddled with closed eyes and drooping wings. Beside her on a branch, a cricket sat as still as a dead twig. Tyrone bumped her arm and said, Someone's heading this way. Sure enough, a cloud of yellow dust was rolling down the road, and in front was a blue pickup truck speeding like it was going somewhere important. The truck didn't turn off down the highway. It came into town and slowed to a stop right outside Mr. Williams' store. I'll jump a small, a fine small woman with bangles on her arms, painted parrots in her ears, and a smile so big it used most of her face. Everybody sat up straight to watch the way that woman walked to the steps of the store. You folks need me, she asked, her parrots dancing round her ears. Mr. Williams had stopped rocking. Well, no, ma'am, can't say we do. You sure now, she said, because coming down the road, I felt a praying and a neighing. I most certainly felt it in my bones. Mr. Williams shook his head. The only thing we need here is a mighty good shower of rain. The woman laughed. Sir, that's what I'm referring to. I happen to specialize in rain songs. Rain songs, Brianna whispered to Tyrone. Rain songs, he whispered back. What, she say, Miss Briss asked. It's my profession, said the woman. You all want a shower to come. You have to ask for it real sweet. Try singing it down like this. She lifted her arms, jingled her bracelet like a storm of silver bells. Then she clapped and swayed, sing it in a high, strong voice. Oh, shalom, boo, Oh, shalom, boo, balo. Oh, shalala, boo, balo, Oh, shalom, boo, balo. It seemed to Brianna that the sun rose as a cool wind to fill all the spaces of the sky. But she, but that was maybe her imagination. The porch folks kind of smiled, not knowing what else to do, and went back to their talk, and they're rocking. Ooh, shala, boo, lasli, ooh, shala, boo, balo. And haste like thin milk spread across the sun. It hung there for a few seconds, then disappeared. The woman stopped singing. She stood in front of the porch steps, her arms outstretched wide. You folks got a mighty strong dryness here. One voice is not 
enough. You all want rain? Sing. Come on now. Open up. Sing. You're wanting to the sky. Brianna's mother held her hat over her face. Mr. Williams looked sideways with his eyebrows climbing up. Miss Bridge plain laughed out loud, and the others pretended to be busy. The woman clapped her hands and started up again. Ooh, shala, boo, baloli, ooh, shala, boo, balolu. Brianna turned her head. What was that echo? A deep pulsating sound was rising from the dried up river. Frogs, hundreds of little green frogs, was feeling the rain song cool on their skin and were swelling out their throats. Brock, Brock, Brock! Then the cricket on the oak tree jumped to another branch and scraped its wings like fiddle bows. Zing it, zing it, zing it! The blue jay woke up, put his head on one side, and shook its feathers. Oh, 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 oh! A great mist formed in the sky, and the wind rustled the dry leaves. Still, it was not enough. Sing, sing, begged the woman. The folks on the porch just slid their eyes round and pretended she wasn't there. Brianna could smell the rain, only a song or two away. She got up and stepped over to the rain song woman. She raised her hand in the air and began with small sounds. Oh, shala, boo, baloli, oh, shala, boo, baloli. Cher came up behind her, then Tyrone and the other children. The woman smiled and waved them close, with her silvery jinging arms so close they were touching each other. They swayed in a bunch, like trees in the wind, clapping their hands above their heads and singing clearing strong song. Ooh, shala, boo, loli, ooh, shala, boo, bali. What a song! There was now. It was wide enough to fill the town, the river bank, and the fields of corn. It reached up so high that it hung mountains of clouds in the air and started the rumbling of thunder. It was too much for Brianna Mothers. She let go her hat and stepped right down beside them, looking up at the sky and singing in her big church voice, Ooh, shala, boo, bali, ooh, shala. Bobali. Some drops of rain fell. They splashed screaming on the steps. They rolled like dusty beads on the road. Sweet wonder, cried Mr. Williams. Next thing, the clouds let go a wet waterfall. Rain bounced on the bare earth and turned to mud. Rain made a drum beat on the roof of the store. Rain poured into trickles and streams and flowed down the river. Another moment and all those porch folks were out of their rocking chairs and down with the children and Brianna's mother stomping in the mud and laughing fit to die. None of them knew it. When the woman drove away, Mr. Bridges and Miss Bridges was doing their own singing now, dancing wet to the skin, faces up, drinking all the mighty good rain, like the frogs, like the crickets, like every other blessed creature in the place. One moment the pickup truck was there, then the next it was gone. Only Brianna saw it, hightailing off down the road. Well, all that happened a little while ago. Now, in that town, the grass is green, the corn is yellow ripe, and the river runs sweet down the pool where Brianna and Tyrone swims and neighbors have their picnics. We're boys and girls. That's all I'm going to read for you today. If you want to get this book, you got to go to the public library and read this book called Singing Down the Rain by John Crowley and illustrated by John Juan Gilcrest. Okay, boys and girls, let's see what's coming up next on the Mr. Peavy Show. Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Peavy. Welcome to the Mr. Peavy Show. I have a special guest. His name is Shere Khan, and he is a, he's a character from the Jungle Book. And the Jungle Book is by, written by Roger Kipling. It was written a long, long time ago. Now, 
The Jungle Book is about a young boy. His name is Mowgli. Mowgli is raised by the wolves. And also, Mowgli befriends lots of people. He befriends a bear called Baloo. And also, he uh, befriends lots of other animals. But there's one animal that does not get along with Mowgli. And his name is Shere Khan. And we brought Shere Khan on our show to talk about that. Shere Khan, why doesn't Mowgli like you? Well, you know, Mr. Peavy, um, he made fun of my stripes one day. And I don't think that was very nice. That isn't nice. You've, had, you've got beautiful stripes. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. But it, it, it hurt my feelings. And boys and girls, you should never, ever, ever make fun of other boys and girls who look different from you or act different. Now, uh, Mr. Khan, what are some of the things? Uh, have you talked to Mowgli about this? I, I have talked to him. And uh, he says that he was only joking. But you know, sometimes it really hurts people's feelings and you may think it's funny, but they, the person you're making fun of is, can really have their feelings hurt. That's right, boys and girls. You should never, never make fun of other boys and girls. Mm -hmm. They have feelings just like you do. And you should always treat people nice. And, and if somebody is making fun of you, you should tell your mommy or your daddy. And also, uh, sometimes other boys and girls will bully you and ask for your lunch money and things like that. You should tell your mommy and daddy very quick. Or your teacher, too. Yes, or yes. Whoever's, whoever's in charge, the adult that's in charge of you, you should go to that adult and explain that. Also, too, it's good to talk to that person with maybe another adult and find out why that person is making fun of you. And if you sit down and talk to that person with an adult, that's called a mediator. A mediator is a person who is, uh, is, is, is a person that helps other people to get along. And if you talk to that person, maybe you can find out why that person uh, makes you try to make you feel bad. Maybe someone's making him feel bad in his life. That's that's right, Mr. Peavy. Maybe somebody is making fun of them, and then when they make fun of you, that makes them feel better. Well, that's not right. I know. Okay, now, how do you like being in uh, in a book, a character in a book, Mr. Khan? How do you like how do you like feel? How's that feel? Well, it's 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 very very nice. I enjoy being in the book. But sometimes, you know, all of those photographers, they want pictures all the time. But uh, it's okay. I, I, uh, I have made a little bit of money from the book, so I'm very happy to be in the book. Well, do you know I have a book written, written about me? Do you? Yes. It's, well, called, it's called Mr. Peavy Forgets. Oh, that sounds like an interesting book. What, what, what is that book about? Well, that book is about me going to the store and trying to buy something, but I, along the way I forget a whole bunch of things. Oh. And when I get to the store, I forget what I'm going to buy. Well, is there anything you can do about that to help you remember? Well, what you need to do, I've done, is if I have my door key, I place my door key in the same place every time. Oh, good idea. It's a good time. And also, I write things down. <gasps> oh, writing is always a good idea. If I go to the grocery store now, I write down what I need to buy. That sounds like the best thing you can do. That way you, you don't make a trip for nothing. Exactly. Now, Mr. Khan, yes. also, too, you live, where do you live? I live in the jungle. What's the jungle? A jungle is sort of like a big forest with lots of trees and animals and beautiful flowers and birds. But sometimes it can be a little dangerous. So you have to watch out. Oh, OK. So uh, do you have any uh, friends, Mr. Khan? Well, I do have a few friends. Uh, but mostly, I'm sort of a loner. Oh, okay. And uh, you have pretty.
three stripes now. Are, are, are your other, are your tiger, or other tigers have different color stripes? Let, let's say, do, could we see a tiger with purple stripes? Well, no, yeah, but, but you know, some tigers don't have stripes. They have, Ooh. they have very faint stripes and it looks like they're almost the same color, but I have very beautiful dark stripes. Well, you know what? You have beautiful uh, stripes. What, what's the color of your, your stripes? They're black. And what's the color of your fur? Oh, it's a beautiful orange oh, color. Oh, you're so beautiful. I think you're so beautiful, Mr. Khan. And you know what, Mr. Khan? I think we're running out of time. Oh. And I thank <sighs> you for being on my show. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Okay. So, boys and girls, you know what? Go to the library and read the book, The Jungle Book, by Roger Kipling. And you'll find our friend Mr. Khan in that book. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. This is Bob Bob the Clown. Welcome to my art room. You know what, boys and girls? We're going to do something that, um, that I experiment on uh, a couple years ago, and I found this work really neat. Okay, this is really neat. Now, everybody get uh, styrofoam uh, trays from meat trays. Uh, you probably can get them in stores. Uh, also, if you get them in meat trays, have your mommy or daddy or grandma wash the meat tray so they won't be contaminated okay? because with the meat you don't want to touch that uh, because you can get you no know, sick so have them washed with hot soap and water now you can draw a picture you can draw a picture and hang on your wall using this meat tray oh yes you can so only thing you need boys and girls you need a blunt instrument what I mean by a blunt instrument an instrument that does not have a point not a pencil because a pencil will make uh, probably it will make holes so I'm using the end of my paintbrushes. I know all of you probably get a hold of a paintbrush. So turn your paintbrush upside down. Don't use this end. We're going to use this end. And we're going to make grooves in this um, tray, okay? It's going to be really neat. You'll see how it's going, to, you, it's going to work out. Now, first of all, you may not be able to see this, but I'm going to draw something. Um, hmm, let's draw a house. So when I do this, I'm going to press down and make that groove. You see that groove there? Can boys and girls see how I made that groove, okay? A groove in, in the, uh, you can probably be able to see it a little better when I start uh, draw, uh, coloring it, okay? And I'm going to draw my house. I'm going to hold it up like this so I can see what I'm doing. A house, okay? Remember the house, you make a house by drawing a triangle and a square. That's a simple way to draw a house. To, to make a door, you just draw a rectangle. Drawing is so easy. A lot of people say, oh, I can't draw. So I'm going to make the ground, okay. Oh, let me make the trees. Now, you may not be able to see this now, boys and girls, but when I start coloring, you'll probably see it a little better when I start coloring. Okay. Let's draw another tree over here. Okay. Okay, then we make the sun. Let's make the sun here in the sky here. Now, here's the fun part. Crayons. You can you can actually color on the styrofoam. Okay. And one thing I like about the styrofoam, it, it all it's already framed. And we're gonna color this and make a frame too. So right now, I want you to get your crayons. And and when you start watching the Mr. PB show, you should, and be, because uh, Baba Abba Clown always has an arts and craft a uh, segment, you should have your crayons and paper ready because we're usually gonna draw. Okay. First of all, hmm, let's see. Let's make a really bright house. Let's make a red house. Okay, let's make a red house. Cause I know. Okay, now watch this. Wow, look at that. We're coloring on the styrofoam. Isn't that neat, boys and girls? We can actually color on this. We can actually color on this styrofoam. Okay, there you go, color. Stay inside of those lines that you made, boys and girls. That's, that takes the place of pencil lines, okay? All right, now we're going to uh, color the roof. I'm going to color that green. Okay, see how great that colors, man. You don't really have to press down hard, boys and girls. You don't have to press down hard. Press down the same pressure you you use when you uh, color on paper. It really it's really not that much difference. Okay, okay. Let's get 
brown here for the door, the front door. Okay. And, oh, we only want to use yellow, because that's already yellow. Let's use blue. Let's say they have a blue light inside, inside their house. Okay. And then the ground, you know, I love that green grass. I'm going to use different colors, too, because I think grass, you know, don't have to be the same color. You know, you have different color grass here at the bottom here. Okay. Then we got our trees. Well, the trunk of the trees brown. See how that's looking, boys and girls? You didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that you can color on styrofoam. You can use styrofoam. Instead of throwing it away in the trash, you can use it to make a pretty picture. And what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to um, color everything in here so it won't look like a styrofoam. Let's see. Let's use something that'll show up. Let's see if, yeah, orange will show up. Wow, we'll make an orange sun. Okay. We'll make an orange sun. We'll go here and make some, the rays of the sun shining. There you go. All right, and let's see, we get here, color that, and then let's color the sky. Okay, boys and girls, well, let's try this. Let's try blue. I love blue skies. And you know what? Let's see if we can, white will show up. It depends on, if you have, of course, you have a white styrofoam, uh, white is not going to show up, you know, so make sure, you know, and that's why I'm not using, notice I'm not using yellow, boys and girls, because my styrofoam is already yellow, okay? So we don't want to use yellow styrofoam because it will not show up. So let's stay around here, let's color, let's color uh, around the area here, and this is my background. The sky and ground meets, boys and girls. Never, never draw your sky a strip at the top and leave a gap between the ground. The sky, that's called the horizon. The sky, the sky and ground meets. So always connect your sky and ground together. Always connect it together. Because if you don't believe me, go outside when the sun sets and look at that sky meeting that ground. Okay. Now here's the fun part. We can make our own frame. We have our own frame. Okay, boys and girls. So we can do, let's see, what color frame we gonna cut? Okay, Rob, what color? Give me, give me a color frame. We make the frame. Brown, brown. I was going to use brown too, Rob. You read my mind. So use this area around here, boys and girls, for your frame, okay? We could use black too, you know, black or brown. Let's, let's use black. Let's use black because we've got brown. Let's see where my black is at because it's got all these colors in here and I can't. There you go. Black is hiding. Black, where are you? Okay, I think we'll have to go back and use brown because I can't find black. Okay. Just start coloring on the side, boys and girls, all the way around. And there's a guide. See, the guide is right there. Just hold your uh, styrofoam on the side like this and color all the way around, all the way around. Okay. If you break your crowns, don't worry about it. Broken crowns are just as good as crowns is not broken. Don't worry about if your crowns are broke. It broke. Who cares? Crowns are made to be broken. Don't worry about that. Okay, boys and girls. Okay, wow. We've got a picture and it has its frame and all it needs to be done is hung up. Isn't this great, boys and girls? So I want you to, I'm going back over some places that I skipped because I have a very limited time to do these projects, but I know you have time at home that you can take your time. And make sure you cover all the areas too and stuff. So, cover the sides here. Got a cute little picture with a frame. And you didn't think you could make anything out of that styrofoam tray. Yeah. I know you get styrofoam trays at school too, on your school lunches. Yeah, at school lunches and stuff. So there it is, boys and girls. This is a picture that has a frame already made out of styrofoam. And you can hang this up or give it away as a gift, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls. So right now, this is, um, uh, like I said, our styrofoam, uh, only thing you need is only uh, crayons in a styrofoam tray. Make sure, boys and girls, you use the blunt end of a uh, paintbrush. I think that, that works out fine. I think that's the closest thing because a pencil would make uh, marks and it may go through. It may go through. So always use a smooth, blunt end of the paintbrush. Not the paintbrush, but the blunt end of the paintbrush. 
boys and girls. So, okay, boys and girls. So this is uh, Bob Bob a Clown. And have a nice day and enjoy your art. Bye-bye, boys and girls.